Mr. Beast flew me out to his place so I can be in a huge video. And this is what meeting Mr. Beast is really like. And Jimmy, if you're watching this, there's something I did while I was at your place that I never told you and I never told anyone, but let me explain. It all started last summer. I was planning to be home to stream the big reveal of my clothing brand, Metal Umbrella, but Mr. Beast wasn't gonna make it that easy. Because just when I thought we had everything under control, I got a phone call. Yo, Cypher, I'm working on a new video. It's the biggest one yet. I would love if you flew out to North Carolina to be in it. So when do you need me? Well, you'd need to fly out today because you have to quarantine for three days before the shoot. Are you down? Well, of course I was down, but I just wasn't sure if this was going to work. I'd have to book a flight right now, fly in tonight, quarantine for three days, film a Fortnite update video on Tuesday, film with Mr. Beast on Wednesday, and barely make it back in time to stream on Thursday for the big reveal. And if anything went wrong, the Metal Umbrella launch would be ruined. We worked for over a year on this project and invested so much into it. If I went and didn't make it back in time to stream the reveal, all of that would be wasted. I didn't want to miss out on this opportunity. This was my chance to make a vlog with Mr. Beast and get to meet him in person. So Cypher, what do you think? I'll do it. So I quickly packed a bag, booked a flight, and made my way to North Carolina. But if I was gonna go, I wasn't gonna just film with Mr. Beast. I was also gonna give him a metal umbrella box as a gift and capture his reaction to it in a vlog. But when I landed, I already had a huge problem. My bag was lost during the flight. Apparently it got put on the wrong plane and I needed to pick it up in the morning. I was so frustrated because my metal umbrella box was in there. This wasn't good. After I left the airport, I headed straight to the Airbnb that Mr. Beast's team set up for me. And on the way there, I realized that the craziest thing about North Carolina was that everyone seemed to know who Mr. Beast was. It felt like he was the mayor. I got to the Airbnb and it was sweet. And Mr. Beast's team were like wizards because if I ever needed anything, they'd make it appear out of thin air. Need a mouse pad? Poof, there it is. Need a Mr. Beast burger? There's two of them. Need a six foot cardboard cutout of Chun-Li? Uh, <laughs> Sure, yes, definitely, anything could happen. They also set me up with a Mr. Beast computer with two monitors to stream from. But we had a major problem. The internet here was the absolute worst. I'm pretty sure cavemen had better internet. This was a huge issue for me. If I wasn't able to find a way to get faster upload speeds, I wouldn't be able to stream or record any videos this week. And if I couldn't do that, it would mean that I would have gone a whole week without content for you guys. And there was a big Fortnite update coming on Tuesday, and now there's no chance of that happening. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Maybe this whole trip was a mistake. So, Mr. Beast has his own gaming setup at his house. You just want to use that? Wait, really? Luckily, Mr. Beast's wizards came in clutch again. When I got to Mr. Beast's place, I was getting some stuff out of my car when I saw something out of the corner of my eye. Wh who was that? Was it someone from his family? Was it Chris? Was it Chandler? No, no, it was him. It was Mr. Beast. I couldn't believe my eyes. What was I even gonna say to him? Oh, wait, you're here? Oh, hey, great to meet you. But sorry, bro, I can't talk right now because we're still quarantined. Anyways, I gotta go, later. Then he left. Yeah, the first time I met Mr. Beast was at his house and we didn't even really get to talk. I went inside and went to Mr. Beast's gaming room so that I could start streaming. And this room had everything. It had gigabit internet, multiple gaming setups, leather couches, more snacks than you can possibly imagine, and a fridge stocked with drinks. And every inch of this room was decorated with pictures and quotes from Steve Jobs and Elon Musk. It was like a museum for entrepreneurs. But I couldn't let Steve Jobs distract me. I had to get to work. So I set my stuff up and went live. But I still had a lot of content to record for the new Fortnite update. So I pushed through the long night by eating a lot of snacks and drinking way too much Gatorade. And looking back, that was probably a really bad idea. Because halfway through the stream, I really had to pee. And the worst part was that I searched the entire game room and there wasn't a bathroom anywhere. 
It turned out the only bathroom was on the other side of the house where Mr. Beast was. And I couldn't go there because he had a big video and we were still quarantining. I couldn't jeopardize his video. I was out of options. I was desperate. There was no bathroom in this game room. The second nearest bathroom was way down the street at some 7-Eleven. How was I supposed to pee with no bathroom nearby? I peed in Mr. Beast's backyard. What was I supposed to do? It was five in the morning. We were recording a Fortnite video. I had like four or five Gatorades in me and I needed to go bad and there was no time. I, I, I had no options, okay? No one was gonna know. No one was gonna see anything. It was literally in the middle of the night and I didn't wanna go and wake up Mr. Beast because like we couldn't interact at that moment, okay? It had to be done. I didn't even tell him about what happened. Jimmy, if you're watching this, listen, man, I didn't know what else to do. I'm sorry. I feel like you would have done the same. So after that adventure, I got back on stream and recorded the last bit of content I needed. And it was 7 a.m. I was finally able to head back and get some rest for the big day. And then the day I got to meet Mr. Beast was finally here. And you know what else was finally here? My bag from the airport. It was saved along with the metal umbrella box that I was gonna give to Mr. Beast. Now I was extremely excited. I couldn't wait to give it to him. So Mr. Beast wants you to know he was up super late recording last night and unfortunately can't meet up with you to film until later this afternoon. Sorry, bye. This was a huge problem. Metal Umbrella's launch day was tomorrow and I needed to be back home by tonight. I still hadn't had a chance to meet Mr. Beast or give him the Metal Umbrella box I brought him. And if I left too early, I'd miss that chance. I was just hoping that I'd be able to find a later flight because if I didn't, I would have came all this way for nothing. So I called my wife for help and she scoured the internet in a panic searching for another flight for me and she saved me. She found me a flight that gave me a couple extra hours to hang out with Mr. Beast and I'd still make it back in time to stream, but I'd be cutting it really close. And it was already time to head to Mr. Beast's studio. So I jumped into the car and headed straight there. And guys, this studio was insane. It was gigantic. It was like a real movie set. There were cameras everywhere. Managers and production assistants were running around. At the center of the studio was where the challenge was happening. And it was like nothing I'd ever seen before. So there was a circle, right? And inside the circle were 100 people. And at the center of the circle was $500,000 in cash. And the last person standing in the circle at the end of the game would win the money. So Mr. Beast had me film some content for the challenge. I helped them separate the field into quadrants. I interviewed the contestants and helped with different challenges. And guys, the funny thing was that after the video came out, I realized I was only in it for like half a second. Look, there I am. Mr. Beast initially wanted me to stay for a few weeks so I could be a bigger part of the video. But with everything going on, we just couldn't make it work. But I'm glad I was there, even if it was just for half a second of the video. Anyways, after filming, it was finally time for me to properly meet Mr. Beast. So I grabbed my metal umbrella box, headed over to the trailer. Mr. Beast and Chandler were sitting in some lawn chairs. This was it. One of the main reasons I wanted to take the risk and come to this trip was finally here. I was finally getting my chance to meet Mr. Beast. So I worked up the nerve to introduce myself, handed Mr. Beast his gift, and nervously watched as they unpacked the box piece by piece. And the reaction to it was amazing. And they even fought over a few of the pieces. And that made me feel nice because if they were willing to fight each other for it, that meant the pieces were good. I told Chandler I would send him his own metal umbrella box and he didn't have to fight Mr. Beast for anything. After that, Mr. Beast said, now, what do you want to do? Want to film some stuff? Yeah. Okay. So what do you want to film? A vlog, a challenge video? Uh, I, I don't know. You're Mr. Beast. Why don't you tell me? Uh, why don't we go to my gaming studio to film a Fortnite video for your channel? That's a great idea. So we snagged a quick thumbnail, climbed into his car, and drove to the gaming studio. At first, I thought I'd coach Mr. Beast to his first Fortnite win, but we didn't have time for that. So instead, we thought Mr. Beast could give me a challenge every 60 seconds while I tried to get some wins. Go to the most crowded place on the map, gotta stay crouched the entire game, empty your entire clip into the sky, drop all of your materials. It was so much fun. I couldn't believe that I actually had the chance to film with him. 
And when I said bye, Mr. Beast, and left the studio, I breathed a sigh of relief because I did it. I had plenty of time to catch my flight and I knew I was gonna get back in time for the launch of Metal Umbrella. Everything worked out as we planned. And that's the thing. Sometimes you've gotta be bold enough to take a calculated risk. You've gotta be fearless. You gotta have confidence and be willing to take that shot on yourself. Because who knows what kind of adventures and opportunities you might miss if you don't. I took the risk by peeing in Mr. Beast's backyard and not telling him about it. Thanks for watching.